I'm Diego Serrano, and this is your Canyons News Micro for November 5th, 2020. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. It has been a wild and yet interesting 2020 election cycle, but this year in California, one proposition has changed the way and impact for many of today's rideshare drivers. Cooper Ignition has more details on this substantial change. I'm Cooper Ignatian with Canyons News. The world of transportation has changed, especially with companies like Uber and Lyft. These two companies offer vehicles for hire and do tasks such as giving rides, delivering food and packages, and freight transportation. Just recently, the state of California voted yes on Prop 22. This now means that the drivers for these app-based companies are classified as independent workers and are able to use their own flexible schedules to continue and assist these companies in the rideshare world. I'm Cooper Ignatian with Canyons News. A local club is shining a light on fighting human trafficking. Cheryl Akpenyi has more details. My Gym, My Fight is a club at College of the Canyons led by Chase Longin that partnerships with Zoe International and raises awareness against human trafficking. Uh, My Gym, My Fight's purpose is really to, to help students and faculty and the community to be aware of human trafficking that's happening not just in third world countries, but right here in Santa Clarita. The club stands out not only for its beliefs, but for its significance. So what makes us different though is what we deal with. We're more focused on education and we want to also empower students to have the tools of this issue, this injustice, so they can go out and feel like they can make a change. Believing that making a difference should be a skill. Um, and not everybody, you know, is going to be the social justice leader. Not everybody's going to be that next politician, but you have a unique set of skills that can definitely bring change. It doesn't matter whether or not this is what you want to do when you decide on your career. For Kenya Zeus, I'm Trent Penny. Malcolm Dos Santos Silva brings us more information on an important program for international students at COC. The international services and programs at College of the Canyons get ready for the second edition of its annual event, the International Forum on Youth, which will take place virtually on November 16 to 19. Organized by the ISP department, the four-day event expects to foster dialogue on various relevant topics that permeate student lives to raise awareness on issues youth of the generation face, in addition to promoting scholarships among faculty and establishing international professional networks. And for Canyons News, I am Malcolm Dos Santos. And that's going to be it for this News Micro. Please follow us on all our social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel. For Canyons News, I'm Diego Serrano.